What's up, little Grimmies? It's Grim, your Wrestling Figures YouTube Heavyweight Champion, and I just finished watching WWE Night of Champions 2013. I wanted to give you my thoughts on the pay-per-view, kind of review it a little bit. Okay, first of all, Daniel Bryan, yes, 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 he's your new WWE Heavyweight Champion. I'm your moron champion. Your motherfucking champion. But you know what? Daniel Bryan winning the title was fucking awesome. And you know what? I predicted it 100% wrong, and I couldn't be happier to be wrong. Nailed the fuck out of it. Uh, no interference. Um, there was something weird. There was a fast count that Scott Armstrong, I think his name is. First of all, he took a bump in the match. I forget what happens, but the referee took a bump in the match. Scott Armstrong goes down. Another referee comes out. I thought it was going to be Triple H, but it wasn't. It was some other random referee. And then Scott Armstrong comes back into the match. And then when Daniel Bryan hit the knee to finish the match, one, two, three, he counted quick. Nobody even acknowledged the fast count. It's going to be acknowledged on Raw. It's got to be. It, it would make no sense not to be. But I don't know why they didn't acknowledge it that night. Whatever, I'm glad to see Daniel Bryan win, and I'm positive this storyline's going to continue. Now, Rob Van Dam did not win the World Heavyweight title, which sucked. I'm bored of Alberto Del Rio. Take the title off of him. What a waste. Okay, uh, Dean Ambrose, everybody else retained. Dean Ambrose retains the U.S. title over Dolph Ziggler. I saw that coming a mile away, and I'm glad. I wanted Dolph Ziggler to not win the U.S. title. I think he's above it. He should be competing for the world title or the WWE title. So, I'm glad Dean Ambrose retained. The Shield also retained over the primetime players who won the tag team turmoil match earlier that night. They beat Tensai and Brodus Clay and, they, and 3MB. and That match was kind of a clusterfuck, but I was happy to see the primetime players win. I knew that they were going to win, and it happened. But then, I really thought the primetime players would have won the tag belts I was wrong. The Shield retained. I don't mind the Shield retaining. I enjoy them. I wouldn't have mind the primetime players winning. That would have been cool too. But I wonder if that feud will continue or where the tag division goes from there. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the Divas title match. Natalia almost won it. She gave a double sharpshooter to the other two girls in the match, not AJ. AJ broke it up. It was um, Naomi and Brie. Oh, Brie was dressed, dressed as uh, Rainbow Bright. Hot. I was very cool. Anyway, they, they did a, a double sharpshooter, it looked awesome, and then AJ came in, clocked AJ, gave her the cooter sniffer finishing move, and that was it, Natalia tapped out. But she failed it, she did not tap AJ's ass, which she should have. What a waste. Double, double waste. The Intercontinental title was also on the line, as Kofi Kingston got a title shot against Curtis Axel. We didn't know that this match was going to happen, but you know what happened? Triple H said all titles should be on the line. He gave Kofi Kingston a match against Curtis Axel, which made absolutely no sense because they should have given Punk the title match. But then again, CM Punk is above the Intercontinental title, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. Speaking of, CM Punk beats Curtis Axel in their match, right? But then, going, on, going forward, Paul Heyman now has to fight CM Punk, and CM Punk is just beating the living snot out of Paul Heyman. And guess what happens? Out comes Ryback. Ryback, pow, puts CM Punk right through the table. Ryback is a new Heyman guy. That's cool as hell. A breath of fresh air for Ryback. Everybody knows old Grimm over here is a Ryback, Mark. So I'm super excited to see what's going to happen with Ryback. Hopefully, he gets a push up to a belt. I'm kind of thinking world title, which is why I wanted RVD to win the world title, to be a transitional champion, to get Ryback as the world title. That would have been awesome. But uh, that's just rambling. Now, they also made another match. They put The Miz versus Fandango. We kind of see that coming a million miles away based on what was going on on television. And if I had to predict, I would have predicted that Fandango won. But The Miz won. I think. I was half paying attention. Triple double fuck a duck waste. But anyway, there was a really fun card. I enjoyed the pay-per-view. It wasn't the greatest of the year. Uh, I know a lot of people on Twitter were groaning, but you know what? The, the workers, they busted their asses to put on a good show. The finishes weren't the best, but it was still a decent card, and I respect the hell out of the wrestlers for putting on the good show, and I'm glad I watched it. It was always fun to watch. It was great to see Daniel Bryan win the title. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, for more vlogs, predictions, from your Wrestling Figures YouTube Heavyweight Champion, Grim.